25 years ago, I was a mom with three children under the age of four. Life was more than busy, but something was missing. Oh, we went to church, we prayed with our kids and read Bible stories, but there was still a gap. We were missing how faith in Jesus Christ connected to what happened every day. So I started writing on restaurant napkins and any bits of paper I could find how God was at work that day in our lives. Now these weren't big things. I wrote about our pets, Matthew's birthday, leaving a favorite truck outside in the rain, those kinds of things. Then before we tucked the children in bed at night, we talked about what had happened. The children realized how virtues like honesty, kindness, and most of all, the forgiveness we have in Jesus Christ were woven into our lives. As we talked and as the children grew up, they began to understand that God was more than a jack-in-the-box Jesus who popped up on Sunday mornings. He was with us all the time. That drawer of paper scraps, that became little visits with Jesus. In the past 25 years, so many parents have told me, when we read your book, often the same thing has happened to our children that we read about. That's because these everyday events happen to real children in a real family our family. Years have passed. Now my children have their own children, and I see those same footprints of faith now being left for my grandchildren through little visits with Jesus. And it's not because the pages came from my life story, or because the situations might also reflect your life story, but because little visits with Jesus reflects God's story and how that is woven into our everyday lives. I don't know the peaks and valleys facing children today. I have no idea of the challenges my grandchildren will face, but I am completely confident that God will bless the time they invest in their little visits with Jesus as they grow closer with their Savior and learn more about His love for them. I'm Dr. Mary Mann Simon.